Today, I want to show you how to run Wireshark Capture on a Palo Alto Firewalls. In my previous video, I show you how to use a traffic logs on a Palo Alto Firewalls. The link to this video will be somewhere here in the corner. Um, traffic logs is good if you want to investigate the traffic which is already passed through the firewalls and been closed off. So that traffic is then copied into the traffic logs and you can view it there. Um, however, if you have an issue to seeing a traffic in the traffic logs, you don't, for example, see it even in a session browser on a Palo Alto firewall. This is where the bucket capture will come handy, where you can generate the pickup files, download them and investigate them in a Wireshark um, uh, application. So prerequisite for this is to have access to your Palo Alto firewalls GUI and have a Wireshark application installed somewhere where you can then investigate the files. Before I start, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. It will help me to grow it. Now, let's have a look. Um, on a Palo Alto Firewall dashboard, uh, Wireshark Capture is again under the Monitor tab. It is the next section under the Locks. So if you um, make the lock smaller, you can click the Bucket Capture here and you will be presented with the windows where you can set up the Bucket Capture. <clears throat> it is highly recommended use the filters so the filters mean you will specify either source or source and the destination or only the destination or the ports what kind of traffic you want to capture it is recommended because you don't want to fill up the firewall's memory and for example they crash the firewall or you can even impact the performance if uh, your filters are too loose so if you click the manage filter here you get the window where you can specify the uh, source destination and ingress interface um, in my lab i have this linux machine which i'm on and i will be doing a packet capture on this firewall so uh, i will just quickly add the rule rule number one in my case the ingress interface is one slash two uh, the source IP of my machine is 10.10.10. .10 .10. uh, destination, I leave empty, source and destination port and protocol. Uh, for my lab, this will be enough. Uh, but if you will be filtering, for example, traffic from the server that is either generating or receiving tons and tons of traffic, you, for example, want to specify source and a destination, maybe the port, to make the filter as specific as possible. So I will click OK to that. So I have my filter set up. Now, the next thing is you need to set up the stage at which stage you want to capture the traffic on a Palo Alto firewalls. Usually when I'm doing a troubleshooting, uh, I'm setting up all four stages. There's only four to select from. And this is a drop, uh, receive, transmit and a firewall. So I will add it a stage. You can drop down the menu here. You get those four stages. So I select the stage drop. Now each stage will create a separate pickup file. So you need to give it a name, but usually I just call it the same as the stage I'm capturing. So easy to remember. So drop, drop. If you want to more advanced option, like just how many packets you want to uh, uh, collect it or how many bytes you can select it here uh, feel free to use it so I have a drop uh, the next one is firewall so I just uh, if I can type yeah firewall uh, the next one is receive receive another one is transmit transmit good so we have those four stages but what those four stages mean so drop here you should see the traffic if the traffic is for example denied by the firewall rule so it should appear in a drop pickup file um, Firewall is a stage when the packet arrives at the firewall and either the firewall creates a new session for it or assign the traffic to already open session. Um, then we have a receive. 
that's the stage where the traffic is received onto the data plane and a transmit is where the traffic is transmitted across the data plane. So we have those four stages, we have a filtering on. Now, uh, there could be situation where the firewall will drop the traffic even before those four stages. And that is, for example, if the traffic arrives at the firewall, the firewall as a, one of the first thing does a root lookup and doesn't see the destination for the traffic, it will drop the packet immediately. If you need to um, packet capture at this stage, you would have to click this option, pre parse match. Again, be very careful with it because it can collect lots of and lots of traffic um, and it can impact your firewall if you're running it in a production so just be careful with it. So <clears throat> we set up all four stages and pretty much we set. So the last thing is you will start the packet capture. It gives you the warning that it can degrade the system and it only should be used for the troubleshooting and when necessary. So we, I think we explained that. So we find with that, I click OK and the packet capture is running. I will open my terminal. I will do quickly ping to a.a.a.8 .a 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 .a. that's running oh, sorry cancel out. yeah and I also do ping to 4.2.2.2 the reason is the 4.2.2.2 shouldn't work because I have an access list that is denying all the traffic to 4.2.2.2 so it's not running so I close that close the terminal now it doesn't it doesn't look it doesn't it does anything this power, but you just need to hit the refresh button and you can see all four stages are here. So let's review those files. So the drop, uh, it downloads here, so I will open it. I have Wireshark installed, so it automatically opens in the Wireshark and I can see those are the this is the traffic to 4.2.2.2. So that's the traffic which is denied by my access list. I can close that. If I click look at the policies, you can see I have a deny policy for all the traffic destined to 4.2.2.2. So that's exactly as we expected. Um, firewall, that should be the session or the stage where uh, the traffic is being assigned to the new session or the already assigned to the established session. So we can see here the ping to um, to a dot a dot a dot eight as expecting. That's also good. And now we have a receive and transmit. I believe receive should have uh, again traffic the ping back and forwards on a data plane. Um, it also received the traffic for the denied for the denied traffic, but, but then it's denied by the firewall. So it's like a pre-stage before the firewall actually denies denies the traffic. And the last one is a transmit. Let's open it. I believe that the 4.2.2 traffic shouldn't be here because it doesn't transmit across the data plane, but we can see the traffic which was permitted, which is a dot a dot a dot a back and forwards so also here so we have a four stages we packet capture all four stages very important point don't forget to switch off the packet capture once you finish once you finish you download all those four files you can investigate them further or send them over to someone else for the investigation once you're done you can just highlight the files delete them and click the clear all settings and it will clear all your settings for the stages and also clear the any filters you created so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time